Hello. In the very first electronics video on my main channel, I showed this, which is a tiny little power management IC, which only came as a surface mount, so I soldered it onto this adapter board. And that was the very first bit of surface mount soldering I ever did. And I've kind of always regretted not recording that because it's the only piece of soldering in the entire CPU build that I don't have video footage of. I didn't do a terrible job of it, though uh, you can see the components not quite straight. It did work though, and uh, it stayed with the build for a very long time. But I do have a another little chip here and an adapter board that I want to use in order to uh, do some breadboard experimentation. Now this is a DS139. It's an SPI real-time clock chip. So let's see if I can get that onto this little board. Now these adapter boards come with two different uh, pin layouts, pad layouts on each of the sides. Cleaning them is always a good idea. Now people have asked me what these wipes are I clean the PCBs with and it's actually a alcohol based lens wipe and specifically I use one of these to clean my cameras before I start recording on any given day and if you go back to some of my early videos you'll see they're slightly fuzzy because uh, they predate me doing that. They dry out pretty quick but uh, they're good for PCB cleaning before soldering. This is a very, very fine pitch chip, and I'm going to do the normal trick of trying to get solder onto one pin. That's there, but it feels like it's not enough. Okay, that alignment feels pretty good. I've just changed my light from a downward facing one to a desk lamp off to the side. Actually provides a bit of better contrast on these pins. Now that looks like a pretty good job. I have just noticed though that there is pin numbering on this PCB which I haven't adhered to. So that's pin one, which is there. Not the end of the world. All right, I'm gonna use these turned pins because they actually sit nicer in breadboards than the uh, regular types of pins that most people use. These ones are a tight fit in some of the breadboards. Now I have had it where I've damaged breadboards by soldering with pins in them like that. So uh, I'm just going to put a couple of pins into anchor and then do it by hand. So that jumps into a breadboard quite easily. I do need to remember that uh, pin one is not where it's marked there, but uh, Apart from that, that should let me experiment with this chip on breadboard. Okay, hope that was interesting. Goodbye.